welcome to the second harp lesson in the introduction to the traditional harp. And I wanted to expand on how we did those little half scales to begin with. So we're going to put our fingers, number four, ring finger on the C, and right in a row, D, E, F, the thumb is now on the blue string F, and we're just going to pluck again and let the, the fingers fall into the palm. Four, then three, two, thumb comes over, closes the lid of the box. Let's try that again. Let's try it with both hands. So the thumb is on F, the blue string, fourth finger is on C, the red string, and allowing the fingers to fall into the palm, squeeze the strings a bit, and here we go. Four, three, two, thumb, closes the lid of the box, and relax. A few more times. Now we're going to come down the hill. We go up the hill like this, four, three, two. Before I play that thumb, I'm going to replace all my fingers on the same strings they were already assigned to, and then play the thumb, and come down. Try it again. Four fingers on, play up the hill, replace all three of those as you play the thumb. Two things to watch for on the way down. There's a tendency of the fingers to want to come up into the dreaded and forbidden claw as you come down like this. The index and middle finger especially want to climb up instead of the fourth finger doesn't seem to be such a problem. And if it's a little uncomfortable coming down, that's totally normal. It's like a kitten going up a tree is fine. Kitten coming down a tree, a little uh, less uh, comfortable. So try it again with both hands going up. C. Four. Then three. Second finger index. One or thumb. But not until we replace. Coming down the hill. So this is called placement, the idea of getting your fingers on the string before uh, you let go of the previous note. In other words, playing at least one note ahead. Uh, placing one note ahead. So this brings up the law of ladders. The law of ladders says that you don't take both feet off a ladder at the same time when you're on it, uh, unless you're jumping. And hopefully you're jumping from the last step to the ground. On the harp, same idea. You want to always have one finger on the harp ahead of the note you're playing. That's as a starting point. Later on, there's a lot of things we do. In fact, a lot of the things I'm going to show you are really just a foundation, a starting point. And later, we'll break these quote-unquote rules as we add more to our fingers' vocabulary and uh, create a big bag of tricks of little technical elements. Um, to solve different problems. So we're going to now practice on this law of ladders uh, by doing what I call going up and down on stilts. We're going to start with say a C below middle C. On a lot of you that might be the bottom note of your harp. Mine goes down one more octave to the low C, uh, two C's below middle C, which is the same as the bottom note on a cello. I'm going to start on the next C up. Again, let's start with just one string, uh, one hand. And uh, we're going to put an index finger on C, skip a note, and put the thumb on E. By the way, we name the distance between notes uh, by how many strings inclusive there are. 
So if I start on C and end on E, we call that a third. C, D, E. One, two, three steps. So that's a third. These are called scale steps. And uh, we always number things from the bottom. So one, two, three. C, D, E. That's a third. We're putting the index finger on the bottom of that third, the thumb on E. And then we're going to pull that index finger into the palm. And then the thumb comes over and closes the lid of the box. But that didn't connect us to the next bit, so we need to add something. Starting again, thumb on E, index finger on C. Pluck the C, and then before you play the thumb, replace the index finger on D, one note up from where it was, and then pluck the thumb. And then before you play that uh, index finger on D, put the thumb on the F, the next note up, play the index finger on D, replace it on E as you play the thumb, replace the thumb on G as you play the index finger on E, and we're going to walk up the hill this way. Now, if I were doing this by myself, I would do, go the whole range of the instrument. I'd start on my bottom string, or as far as I can reach comfortably with that hand, all the way up to the top. And getting used to the whole range of the instrument. Don't get stuck in a comfort zone, which we all are subject to. We like playing in this area with one hand, or this area with another. And this insecurity of the edges of the harp starts to become a bit ingrained if you don't fight against it. With the other hand, index finger on C, thumb on E. We're going to walk up. C, place, thumb, place, D, place, F, place, E, place, G, index finger. together. Place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck. Let's come down. Try it hands together. This time we start with the thumb and we're going to descend. So the thumbs play the E. They replace on D as you play the C. Index finger goes to B as you play the thumb on D. And keep on going down. Allow your fingers to relax and fall into the palm. Try to avoid the claw. Relax your shoulders. Watch that you're not curling around and crooking your neck. And relax. And breathe. Try not to hold the tension in your body.